Hey folks, well the 2009-2010 general deer season here in the Lone Star State has ended. But you know, before the season came to a close, Mitch and I were lucky enough to sneak away for one last chance at a nice South Texas buck. Now we got to the Lone Star Creek Ranch on Saturday afternoon, but we could only hunt that afternoon and the next morning, which was the last day of the season. Now old Mitch here had only hunted twice all year, so it was definitely his turn to hunt, and I would try to keep the camera steady. Now that afternoon, we didn't see a darn thing, but you know, we were blessed with pleasant temperatures, peace and quiet, and one beautiful sunset here. Now the last morning of the season, Mitch and I were in the stand early and it didn't take long for this year and a half old spike to start heading our way. But with the extended doe and spike season fixing to open here in South Texas, Mitch decided to pass on that sausage and jerky even when it was standing right under the feeder. And as I was watching the beautiful sunrise and thinking about how much fun this season had been, I caught a glimpse of a cow in the backfield that made me look twice. Now I strained to get my binoculars in focus and when they did, I could see a calf that appeared to have a plastic lawn chair stuck around its head. Hey folks, good morning here. Uh, we're at the Lone Star Creek Ranch. Today is the last day of the general deer season here in the state of Texas. Still got an extended uh, deer uh, season here for does and spikes. Uh, saw a spike this morning, but uh, held off on him. But anyway, what we saw this morning also is a cow in the backfield that had a plastic lawn chair stuck to his head over there. We hadn't seen Porky yet since we've been here, but I saw him this morning out there hanging with the cows. Got a lot of rain out here, can't get across the creek. Came down here and tried to get through in our four wheel drive, can't get across, so we're gonna Take some food for Porky, something to lure the cows into the pen so we can get that uh, chair. Uh, we got some work to do. Come on, let's go. I think that's Porky laying over there in the pens. It's gotta be. Anyway, we're almost there. Let's keep going. it at all unless they're coming over here we want to get them back in the pen well, let's go now we wanted this calf to remain calm but you know when porky's around shoot everybody's on edge and you can hear porky here arguing with the bull and i think i heard him say you ain't the boss of me bully hey well, we weren't going to get this done as long as Porky was in that pen, and thankfully, he'll follow anybody with food. I want to open it for you, Porky. Now, with the herd calm again, Mitch went in to see what he could do. Well, after several attempts, I set the camera down to give Mitch a hand, but boy, I should have left it running, because when I jumped on that calf's head and held onto that chair as tight as I could, that calf swung me back and forth a few times before accurately tossing me right on top of a big old fresh pile of bull dung. Man, it was a Kodak moment for sure. Now this has been a very memorable deer season for me and my family, and even though we only harvested one deer between us, we wouldn't trade this season for Got any other. Man. And you know, every season is made up of many uniquely different and exciting adventures. And you know, I'm already dreaming about next season. Hey, thanks for watching, folks, and you know I'll see you soon. Catch, uh, some nice bucks.